Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, topic is uh, photophobia. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, in that case you can visit my website. And the link for the website is just below this video in the description area. Now I come to the topic. Uh, photophobia. You know, photophobia it is a condition um, in which uh, the bright lights hurts your eyes. And another name for this condition is known as uh, light sensitivity. Uh, it's a common symptom that's associated with the uh, several different conditions, uh, ranging from minor irritations to serious medical emergencies. And uh, mild uh, cases, uh, they make you squint in bright, uh, like brightly uh, lit room or uh, when you are outside. And in more severe cases, uh, this condition causes considerable pain when your eyes are exposed to almost any type of light. So it's known as photophobia. Uh, the common cause, like, uh, you know, it's, it's common symptom of the migraine headaches. And uh, these are severe headaches that can be triggered by a number of factors, including uh, hormonal changes, certain foods, stress, or any environmental changes. And other symptoms include uh, throbbing in one part of your head. Uh, nausea, vomiting. So, you know, the migraines occur three times more uh, in women if compared to men. So, the women are more likely to get it, uh, get the headaches, migraine headaches if compared to men. And uh, the light sensitivity or the photophobia is commonly associated with a few like serious conditions that affect the brain. Uh, they include uh, encephalitis, meningitis, and uh, subordinate hemorrhage. So these are the three main conditions where it is uh, more common. Now encephalitis is uh, uh, the condition when the brain is inflamed from any due to any viral infection or any other cause, you know. And the severe causes of uh, it can be, it can be life-threatening. Now meningitis is uh, the bacterial infection of the brain and that causes the inflammation uh, in the membrane surrounding the brain and the spinal cord. You know. And the bacterial form can lead to serious complications such as brain damage, uh, hearing loss, seizures, and uh, in severe cases, maybe death. You know. And uh, subordinate hemorrhage is uh, it occurs when you have bleeding between your brain and uh, the surrounding layers of, uh, of tissues. And it can be fatal, and it can lead to brain damage, or it can lead to stroke. You know. So it's a serious medical emergency. Uh, photophobia can also, it's common in several conditions that affect your eyes, like. Uh, uh, corneal abrasion, sclerosis, uh, conjunctivitis, uh, dry eye syndrome. Uh, so, you know, a corneal abrasion is when uh, is an injury to the cornea, and sclerosis occurs when the white part of your eye becomes inflamed, and uh, conjunctivitis, also known as pink eye. Uh, dry eye syndrome is in it occurs when your tear ducts cannot make enough tears to uh, keep your eye moist. You know. Now, some conditions that cause the sensitivity to light are they are considered medical emergencies. And if you have this symptom and uh, any other symptoms associated with uh, these conditions, and should seek medical. Uh, uh, cure straight away 
and those include uh, corneal abrasion and the symptoms of the corneal abrasion are uh, blurred vision, uh, pain or burning in your eye, redness and the sensation that you have sometime, something in your eye. Uh, and cephalitis uh, symptoms include severe headache, fever, uh, being difficult to roll, roll and confusion. And meningitis uh, symptoms include uh, fever, chills, uh, stiff neck, severe headaches, uh, nausea and vomiting. And uh, the symptoms of the subordinate hemorrhage include uh, sudden and severe headache that uh, feels worse towards back of your head, uh, irritability, confusion, uh, reduced awareness and numbness in parts of your body. So these are the symptoms of the subordinate hemorrhage. So if you feel any of these symptoms, you should consult the doctor straight away now without wasting time. Now, the next thing is what are the treatment options? Well, you can divide the treatment options in three stages like home care, medical treatment, and uh, there are certain tips to prevent, you know. So, Staying out of the sunlight and keeping the lights dimmed inside the home can make you feel comfortable. And the medical treatments are like a, a, the type of treatment you need, it will depend on the underlying cause. And the types of the treatment include medications and uh, rest for migraines in case you know eye drops that reduce inflammation of the sclerosis antibiotics for the conjunctivitis or artificial tears in case of the dry eye syndrome and antibiotics for the corneal abrasion and uh, anti-inflammatory medications bed rest and the fluids for the mild cases of encephalitis and uh, antibiotics for the bacterial meningitis there's a serious emergency and uh, surgery to remove any excess blood or relieve the rest pressure in the brain for subordinate hemorrhage. So these are the treatment options. And uh, well, you may not be able to prevent the light sensitivity in some cases and the certain behaviors can help to prevent some of the conditions that can cause the uh, photophobia. And uh, they include like try to avoid the triggers that cause the migraine headaches. I prevent conjunctivitis by practicing good uh, hygiene, not touching your eyes and not uh, sharing the like eye makeups. Reduce the risk by getting meningitis by avoiding the contact with the people who are infected, washing your hair, uh, uh, hands, you know, and getting them immunized against the bacterial meningitis. And prevent uh, uh, like uh, wash your hands frequently to uh, prevent the encephalitis, you know, getting vaccinations against encephalitis and avoiding exposure to the mosquitoes and uh, ticks. It's also helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, uh, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.